Welcome to Satisfactory. My name is Nilaus and this is not a new playthrough. What this is instead is a walkthrough of what I call Satisfactory Designs. This is where I will be walking through my base that I'm currently making on stream. On stream. So I stream a lot of Satisfactory and I'm going to continue to do that. Instead of taking all of the raw streaming content and migrating directly to YouTube, that does not give for the best viewing experience, I've decided to use the base to as a showcase for designs and then I'll be uh, making reviews of the designs in this uh, this series that I call satisfactory designs. I hope that you like it. Please let me know if you like this way of doing it. If you want to see all the raw content, that's all available on Twitch and be sure to just tune in. But this is um, this is 8 hours of stream that is now compiled into a couple of of episodes here of the satisfactory designs. So satisf the first satisfactory design that I want to dive into is actually the starter base because what is better than to get started on a starter base? We're standing on top of our hub, so that's a good place to start. This is where we build it. I have started up the game in Northern Forest. As I, as I said, this is about eight hours of, let's not call it work. Uh, let's uh, start with what I can consist of when I call a starter base. So a starter base should be delivering you the materials that you need. Can't run around with the Caterium ore in my inventory. Uh, I, It should deliver the stuff you need in order to continue to build the base. That means iron plates, it means iron rods, it's wires, cables, concrete, but it also means that when you've been out in the world harvesting Biomass, so you come back with leaves and wood. The leaves and wood should be converted into biofuel. What I'm doing as a premise here, I am assuming that you have found at least one green slug so that you have access to the power shards. So you can upscale and or overclock and underclock. We will not be doing any overclocking for this build because in my opinion, it is a waste of power shards to use it for a starter base. However, I'll be using underclocking heavily. so. Please uh, pay attention to that. That means if you if you do not have that unlocked, you go out, find a green slug, research it in the mem, and then come, uh, uh, then do the research on the hub, and then you can uh, you can do the underclocking. I'll be walking through that as well. Maybe I'll do a separate episode about that. So what are this? These are the things that we need to build. I will also assume that you do not have belt mark two. That will limit some things, but it. Uh, I think it's important that we don't make those assumptions because that will require us to have unlocked the next tier of uh, of the space elevator, and then it's really not a starter base anymore. We're going to start, of course, with iron. We have an iron mine here. You set this to 60 per minute. Hopefully, you should have someone that generates uh, 60 per minute. If you have a, this is a normal one. Uh, this is actually a pure one. Pure one. To, uh, delivers 120 normal 60 and impure is 30 so if you whatever you have you need to scale it either take two impure one normal and one underclocked in this case uh, see one underclocked come on hit 50 again oh, okay never mind we'll do it this way uh, one underclocked uh, pure so we get 60 the reason why we get 60 is because that's the capacity of the belts so we now, everything here for the iron build is designed around 60 items or iron ore inbound per minute. Goes into a splitter. You need the splitters, might as well do it. You'll probably start building this before you have the splitters. That is no problem, but try to build it so that you have room for the splitters. And then you'll just need to alternate a bit between this. Maybe have two iron coming in here, one into that one, one into this one, and then yeah, work from there. So we now have 30 items in each direction. That goes into this one uh, that consumes 30 inbound and produces 30 outbound. Uh, actually, let's take the easy one here. This is going to be the same 30 in, 30 out, 100% clock speed. Goes onwards to make uh, 30 ingots into 15 plates, and that's the amount of plates we have. Not here, but up there. So we have some plates. Excellent. The other part, we go back. Here we have again 30 iron ingots into, oh, yeah, 30 iron ingots out coming into this one. Get split, 15 to each side. Jumping in here. 15 in, 15 out. 
and those 15 from both of those will be merged back in and that's why this one's stuck because it's actually producing now 30 iron rods per minute and this will give you all the iron you need very simple 60 iron ore in and then you get 30 iron rods 15 iron plates out per minute very simple very nice and it works next one it doesn't involve a bit of underclocking this is a concrete i'm a very big fan of concrete as you can see here for all the concrete i put in the world so i want to make sure that i have enough of this we again have inbound 60 items so it fills up a normal belt it goes in splits 30 to each side you can see the belt is only half full see there and that was the v key if in case you didn't know that this goes in here now when running at 100 percent it consumes 45 but if it consumes 45 here and the other one 45 then that's 90 in total which is more than the belt that's coming inbound here can contain so therefore instead of using five megawatts four megawatts then we will be downscaling it underclocking it to 67 and then uses 2.1 megawatt and consume 30 inbound outputting 10 per minute here this one likewise what you can see here is when it's running at 100 percent it, it consumes 4 megawatts when it's operating at 67 it's 2.1 so you can basically get two two these two at 67 percent operating at the same same power as if you had one operating at 100 percent that's actually quite remarkable because what we just did is we put some two infrastructure bit, bits here and together they they produce more than one operating 100%, 33% more, but it actually doesn't use any more power. So we get 10 concrete out plus 10, they're getting merged, and we will then get 20 concrete per minute produced, giving us a nice fat supply. That will also just run we'll skip the next one and move on to the copper. Here we have the, the copper built. Let's uh, walk through that. In this case, we actually have the copper coming in from the side, so it is a bit wonky. The, for the copper, uh, we are building, as you can see here, we're building wires, and on this part, we are building cables. I'll just take a stack of cables so things start moving again. All right, so this is a bit of an advanced build in the sense that we just want to use our resources as efficiently as possible. Now. The belt has been tuned so it's only providing 30 items per minute because this one can only consume 30 items per minute and it outputs again 30 ingots per minute that gets split 15 on each side oh my god how unfortunate that is that the entire base just shut down as we are doing a walkthrough that is unbelievable isn't it i just see if it spiked or if it just ran out it just ran out Damn it. Awful timing. That one's on a separate network. We'll get back to that one. I'll just keep kick this back in. Sorry about that. That happens. We might also do a power supply episode. and fire it up should be enough all right and let's get this one back in right so <clears throat> without little little intermezzo we go back to our copper builds so each of these take 15 copper ingots out and produce 45 wires so this is where i do something tricky maybe this one's not moving. Let's pick up a few of these just to make sure that it moves. And so we have 45 in from this one and 45 out from that one. That is 90 in total. What I'm doing here, this is quite important. Here, 45 in, 15, 15, 15. These two times 15, they're getting merged back over here. So we now have this belt of 30 per minute. If we look at it here, this is exactly what the cable production can use. You can see here, the cable is operating at 100% speed. So in this build, everything is running at 100% speed. And then we take 
from this one it was 15 15 15 so we take 15 over here combine it with the 45 coming out of that one giving us an absolutely fully stacked belt of four, of 60 going in here so we are basically and this is why i've chosen this one is only using 30 iron or inbound because i'm actually producing 60 plus was it 30 no only 15 but i don't really need that much cable you can see how easy it stacks up so that's a very simple well maybe not that simple but because of the because of the way we are we using the inserters all machines work at 100 percent nothing is wasted and it works now the last build as part of what i would call the starter build is that we come out from from the out in the the world we are produced we've gathered some leaves and we want to just put them in here see that one is just oops that's not what i wanted but that gives me the opportunity to show how i did that there we just from the intro drag it out then it drops on the floor that means i can now see ah okay that's the one for for uh could i, I could probably do it for the other ones but this is the important ones this is where i drop the leaves in this is where i drop the wood in you can see the wood breaks out here don't have any of those so let's walk through this one the way what happens you know i think it's much better if i just move up a bit just uh, much easier to see up here and can i jump up to this one yep i can all right mm. ah, that's better view all right so what happens is first one comes from the storage to the wood that goes into wood to biomass biomass in this one to fuel the fuel is getting merged coming into three storage locations likewise over here leaves go into uh, to leaves to biomass comes out biomass gets converted into fuel and it goes in now there are some tricks to this and they're actually quite opposite this one is not consuming very much but the amount that is producing is absolutely insane look at this if we ah okay you can't see it but it's 375 it's insane how much it produces when uh, when it's fully operational so this one should be downclocked because then it basically doesn't use any power 0 0.2 megawatts and what it outputs is then a full belt this one will be idle most of the time so there's no point in it consuming more power because you basically come back put two three hundred wood in there and then it'll just start working let it work at the capacity of the belt this belt which can then consume 60 biomass and convert it. Also, if the whole thing operates at fully efficiency, I'll get 30 here, and that will, uh, plus the 30 we can also get here. Can actually be, uh, if it was fully stacked, then we could get it. See, now the issue on the leaves is actually quite the opposite. Here, if I scale it back to normal, let's just wait an operation to see what it goes to, like that. Then you can consume 150 per minute, but I can't get 150 in there without having better belts. We don't have that in these designs. So if by scaling it down like this, we are consuming a full belt, which is what you can see here. Just a full belt is being consum consumed. And that means we only produce 36 outbound. So of course, the next one should be tuned towards having only 36 outbound. And that produces... This may actually means this one is going to operate for a very long time once you go out because that's just the way it works so basically what i've done here in this lane i've built this sacred path because of course i have and then that means i can run for my hub i can pick up iron rods iron plates concrete biofuel you can see how easy it was biofuel if i pick up the biofuel I'll just go right over here and put it into our biofuel burners. You saw how easy that actually was. And I can also drop off whatever I have. I can go over here, grab cables, grab wires, go out into the world and build some more stuff or coming back to something. So that's, that's how that's going to play out. Let's make sure that one is actually hooked up. Okay, so that brings us, uh, that's what I would call a starter base. This works absolutely flawless. You could say, why are you not building uh, reinforced iron plates? I don't feel that's a starter thing. It's something you want to build, but you want to industrialize it because it's an ingredient for 
uh, for the, the space elevator, so treat it in a different way. But this is uh, enough to get us started. Keep this base running. This one will, will keep you happy whenever you're out in the world exploring or cleaning the forest, then you come back and you will have lots of materials. As soon as you have this, as soon as I built this, or as, as gradually as I built this, I had absolutely no issues with any production materials. And that's uh, that's really where we want to be in a base like this. So that's my recommendation. I can unfortunately not share any blueprints with you because they don't really exist uh, in the game yet, as of yet. But that's going to be my first episode and give you kind of an idea about my first little build here is a starter base so i hope you enjoyed it if you do be sure to uh, leave a like and a comment below if there's something you want to see more or different ideas or if you spotted some errors that is entirely likely i'll go through more ideas so by all means throw some ideas at me at uh, what you'd like me to walk through i've been playing this game for a while now so some of the things that may be odd and strange for you they actually are maybe just i don't really think about it so be sure to uh, to let me know Hope you enjoyed it, and if I if you feel that I deserve your subscription, then you know where the subscription button is, and until next time, stay effective.